Sony Computer Entertainment America presents... G'day guys, this fan here. Oh my goodness, it's a game. A universal internal internal Don't look at the studios. words. Or the title of the video, you ruin it. It's a surprise. This is very important. Now there's like some sort of crate. That's not how crates work. And the crate is uh, doing the fireworks, and then multiple of the same people come out of it, which is how this works. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're playing Crash Bandicoot. Warped. Uh, thank you. I presume Cortex. Yes, good day, guys. Dishban here. I I did say that, but I'm going to repeat it because it's worth repeating. It was not redundant in the slightest. Here's the very important Crash Bandicoot 3 storyline as we crash into New Zealand, which uh, New Zealand doesn't look like that, but that's Australia. That's where I live. I live in Australia, because it's Australia. Into the lizard mouth. Delicious. <laughs> Free at last. James L. Jones? And it wasn't blocked off anyway. What do you mean, free at last? <laughs> That's some really loud laughing. Uka, Uka is free. No, well, it cannot be. Evil maybe it's not. Great evil has come. Why do you presume that, Morgan Freeman? And, and Lee Prash behind. He's only the main protagonist of the game. None not important. He's worse lighting than Steven Seagal. Twice, 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 apparently. According to this emulator. Yep, it was Vandekoot's fault. Why are you repeating yourself? This is a record? It's quite humorous with the repetition. Left on this planet. I know we've had a few unfortunate setbacks. Good work must go into maintaining that beard, being so rect uh, triangular, rather. I am being generous. Oh, how nice you! Now this always scared me on the side there. The shadow, time guy. Terrifying. Here he comes! Oh God! And then you see him, and he's a Teletubby, so it's not so terrifying. After many eons, my evil twin, Uka Uka, has been freed from his underground prison. And then, Long in Invictus, ago, I locked him there the rugby team. The world from really does sound like Morgan Freeman. Now, free, free, free once again. He must be stopped. How does the polar bear like the fire in that mushroom house or whatever? What is this? And the polar bears left children, behind. Children. Wait, how'd they get here? Uka and Cortex plan to use this time-twisting machine to gather crystals that those that lay scattered across time. Well, then isn't then it theirs? Couldn't we run into them? To recover the crystals before they do so. To open the what? time portal, simply stand on a button and then jump into the portal. How do we do it before Good them? Luck. It's a time-traveling machine. We've got time. Infinite time. I've been through this with other games before with time travel, I think. Can't remember what it was, but it was something. Time travel. Alright, yes, yeah, so Crash Bandicoot is the video game. Here's the hub world. That's it. That's all you get to see. No, <laughs> I don't need to show you it. I'll show you it in due time. Here's uh, the first world of Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. You see the pads which you step on to enter the level. The first level, Toad Village. More of a tutorial level than anything. It's very simplistic, and here's this sort of interlude which we will see frequently. Crash, crash, crash. Why must you always muck in my, my, my mud? I'm a pig. Oh, look, I have a mask helping me, too. Hey, you do, we'll yeah. find out which one is which one is which one is more powerful. Soon enough. Well, yours is evil, but has pink gas spewing from it. I can't imagine Barbie Horse Adventures The Mask is that powerful. Is the... That's how that happens. You come through some sort of butterfly. And this is the game, folks. This is Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. I'm sure a lot of you have played this before. A, a wonderful game for the PlayStation 1. And yes, I'm on a new computer, you see, so I can run the PlayStation 1 emulators finally. And I'm going to try and get... Yeah, I'm going to get that. You can crouch jump. There are a lot of buttons you can... You know, you got the jump button, you got spinning, as you saw me doing before. And all that sort of jazz. There's nothing up here, so I'm going to just go ahead and spin this. Because I don't care about the Wumper Fruit. Those are the things. They're not, they're not apples or, you know, peaches. 
as I once thought, would, because that, you know, that makes sense, because that's clearly what they're modeled after. No, in fact, they're Wumpa Fruit, whatever that is. Uh, you get the Boogada Boogada Mask. I don't, I don't know his name, that wasn't racist. Don't be offended. Uh, and then he protects you. He's basically an extra life sort of thing. If you get hit, he will take the hit for you. You can collect three of him at once, in a matter, as a matter of uh, the fact. As a matter of the fact, and uh, as a matter of the parliament. What? And if you collect the third one, of course, you're going to some sort of super duper, you know, I'm invincible mode. No, I like star power, but not because that's guitar here, and I meant getting a star in Mario. Clearly, two separate things. One has a guitar, and one has plumbing. You tell me which one's more exciting. This is a bonus level. There's birds that fly away because we, we walked on them, and I would walk away too. And I would fly away, in fact, if I was a bird, because then I'd be able to fly. That would be pretty great. Although, actually, no, I wouldn't, because I wouldn't, because not only would you be breaking all sorts of air traffic control laws, I mean, the, the air traffic controllers would be mighty angry, and you wouldn't have any sort of intercom to talk to them. It would be very dangerous, and you could hit a plane, and you could get attacked by birds. You're more likely to get attacked by birds in their natural habitat of the air than you are on the ground. Although, admittedly, when, if you're going near trees, you are pretty close to getting attacked by them as well, because, you know, they're, they're just like, ah, ah, get trees, get away from the trees, ah. I totally spun that frog into a box. I am the spinning frog guy. This is, uh, this is really not that much to explain. I mean, I'm, I'm doing the same things. It's a platforming, well, it's not platforming, it's a... Well, it's a 3D platformer, is how you'd explain this, I suppose, or as an adventure game. That's the crystal! That's the uh, not crystal from Zoo Magazine, the Australian Big Brother contestant with the large fake Norks fame. Uh, no, in fact, it is the purple crystal, which you collect in every uh, level. If you do that, you've won the level. And then if you get all the boxes, you get a silver gem as well. So that was quite a successful run, clearly. As we got everything this level has to offer. Or so one would think, if they were some sort of dullard. No, in fact, there's one more thing which I will show you. Uh, in future videos, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. If I'm going to do the time trial, which I'm about to show you, and the actual level in the same video, it would make sense for uh, time manners, I believe. And then each video would take about eight, nine minutes and include every level. Like a level each. That would make a lot of sense, I think. Do you dance? That's pretty... Uh, you're pretty crazy and wacky. That sure is hilarious for eight-year-olds. If I was eight, I'd sure find that hilarious, Crash. Please, just pick being a wacky guy. Wacky, wacky woof. Crash, Coco. This is If weird. you have already retrieved a level's crystal, then so you sad. will find a floating clock when you enter for the second time. What's with the this beard? This floating clock activates time trial mode. Grab yeah. it, and the clock Turn will start something? ticking. Race for the end to get the best time. But beware, some elements will change. And his eyes are rock melons, if you noticed. Which, uh, hopefully you did. No, it's time for the time trial uh, mode of the game, where basically, it's pretty simple. It's a time, and it's a trial. And that's not how you explain it at all. No, you've got to be as fast as possible, basically. You run through the level. There are boxes, which I will show you in due course. Luckily for me, well, unluckily for me, rather, they don't show up until, like, midway through the level. Here we are. Here's a two. So basically, when you jump on these, the, the time stops yet you can still move, which makes a lot of sense, and it's good to see that Crash can disrupt the time-space continuum so easily, because really, it's not a thing that needs to be controlled or anything. That was a good spin, because I knocked out the bad guy, and lowered the box for myself to get. And that's all the fun thing to do. Basically, you've got to run through the level as fast as possible. Uh, you can run through a lot faster in the future when you have, like, unlocked all these, like, total things with uh, shoes. I think there's things you can unlock. But until that point, you're just running at a normal pace. And that's all there really is to it. I mean, you just got to hope that you get a good pace. I'm totally going to get hit there. And uh, that's going to that's gonna cost me, folks. I can totally tell that I've now lost uh, the game, as it were, to use a terrible internet meme. And uh, I hate the internet. We're going to finish uh, in, in due to under a minute, perhaps? Yes. Yeah, oh, just under a minute. That will get us the blue Horcrux. Well, that's not the word. It's like an amulet. It's a, it's a cross. It's a Jesus. It's a Jesus. We've got the blue Jesus. And uh, there's a gold one as well, but that takes some sort of superhuman fast time to get the gold one. And it's just ridiculous and not something you should expect me to do because I'm not good at video games. Especially not on the keyboard. In fact, uh, that's the end of the video. Guys, but if it's the end of the first video, as you can probably tell by the running time. Yeah, that sure was the time. 57.50 that we need to get. I'll go back and do the gold ones. 
uh, never. No, I'll probably do it at some point, because I do enjoy this game. I enjoyed this game as a kid, and I hope that you guys are going to enjoy it as an LP, because it's a fun game, and it's, that's me splatting, or crash splatting, on metal. And that's good for you. So for now, just been saying goodbye, and thanks for watching.